Hey everyone, let's have a look at virtual copies inside of Lightroom. So what's a virtual copy? Well, it's a copy of an image, but that copy exists only within Lightroom itself. So the great thing here is we can actually make one or two or as many copies of an image as we like, but it's not actually taking up any more disk space on our computer. Inside of Lightroom here, I've got a collection here called Demo. And it looks like I have six images in here, and I kind of do, but I kind of don't. So those six images are just here. So I've got a bridge image just here, a building image just here, and a rope image just here. So I'm actually just going to show you my desktop just here, and I've got a folder here called Files, and this is where I pulled in all of those images. So that's those three images just there. They're raw files, bridge, building, and rope. So back here inside of Lightroom. So what are these things? Well, as you would have already guessed, they are virtual copies. And they are virtual copies of this file just here. So uh, it's not incredibly obvious, but the thing you want to be looking for is the name just up here. So you can see bridge.cr2, that's my raw file just there. And then copies one, two, and three across here. So these three are virtual copies. So while the name might not be incredibly obvious, the little icon in the bottom left, the sort of uh, turned up page icon is what we're looking for just here. That's letting us know that these are virtual copies just here. So why do we care about virtual copies? Well, they can be incredibly powerful because it can let you process an image multiple times without having to destroy one look that you may already like. So this is my original image just here. I created a virtual copy and just sort of uh, opened up the shadows there a bit, did a bit of uh, lens correction on there, a little bit of vignetting. And then this next copy here is effectively the same as this guy just here, but copy two just here, you can see I've done a, uh, a square crop on this. And then this uh, copy three, virtual copy just here, is obviously a black and white version of this guy just here. So uh, that's virtual copies in a nutshell. And I'm going to show you how you can actually make your own just using these images just down here. Uh, so within Lightroom itself, guys, virtual copies are effectively the same as a regular image. You can process it any way you like. You can take it through the develop module. And of course, you can actually export that out and not just, uh, uh, not just an individual, but all of them at once should you choose. So let's, uh, let's actually make a couple of virtual copies. So let's come down to building just here. And of course, uh, we're in the world of Adobe here. There's uh, usually at least three ways to do something. So let's explore those quickly. Uh, if I right mouse click on here, I can choose create virtual copy or from the photo menu just here, I can choose create virtual copy. And I'm on a Mac here, so I could also use the keyboard shortcut command apostrophe. So let's just choose that. And here we go here, we've got our copy one of our building file just here, and we can also see that little icon in the bottom left corner just there. So with uh, this image selected, let's pop into the develop module, and let's just do a couple of quick changes. Maybe let's um, boost the clarity, and maybe down here inside of effects, let's put a really strong vignette on that, and back here in the basic tab, maybe let's uh, increase the vibrance and the saturation just a little bit. So let's push it just a little bit further than usual perhaps just so uh, you can definitely see that there at home. So uh, now that we're in the develop module, our same images are actually showing up in the film strip along the bottom just here. So you can actually see from here, we've now got seven photos. Remembering we had six only a moment ago, that's because we now have this new virtual copy. So if I was to pop back into the library module, or I could do that from the film strip as well, let's make another virtual copy. But I want you to see, you don't have to actually uh, create a virtual copy from the base image just here, we could actually do so from any of the virtual copies themselves. So what I'll do is I will actually make a virtual copy from this original image. So right mouse click virtual copy. So you can see copy two has popped up, but you'll notice it looks exactly like the image that we actually generated the virtual copy from. So if I just edit, undo that, watch what happens if I've now selected this virtual copy just here, if I right mouse click and choose create virtual copy, I actually get um, copy two just here, but you'll notice it actually looks like copy one just here, which is the image that we use as the base for generating a virtual copy. So in reality, 
this guy here is the base for all of our virtual copies. But the main thing I'm trying to emphasize here is if you've created a virtual copy that you like the look of, uh, you can actually just create the virtual copy from that and use that as your base point moving forward. So let's maybe, uh, let's do a little bit of cropping on this guy just here. So pop into my crop tool and maybe let's make this a uh, one by one crop. I'm happy with that. Let's just commit that. And popping back into our library module. So you can see we've still got the uh, two virtual copies just there. And now maybe I want a black and white version. So I'm going to right mouse click on this, create virtual copy. And then with that guy selected, I'm going to pop into the develop module and convert to black and white. So you can see running down the film strip just here, there's our four original images of the bridge. And we now have four images of our building just here. Uh, another cool thing that you can do guys is you can actually uh, synchronize. So again, this is something you can do with normal images that you've processed, but all of this applies to virtual copies as well. So this is the rope image, our third image, just here looking rather bland. But let's say, look back at the black and white version of the bridge just here. Let's say that's a look that I really, really like, and I'd like to that to be applied to the rope. So the first thing I'm gonna do is come down to the rope, image and create a virtual copy. So I'm going to click on my bridge image because I want that to be the image that I'm going to synchronize the data from. So I wanna make sure that I'm actually seeing the bridge image. I'm going to hold down the command or the control key and click on my new virtual copy for the rope image just here. You'll notice uh, there's a sync button just here. If I'm to click on that, these are all the options that I can synchronize. So you can actually turn off and on individual sections. In this case, I'm just going to choose check all. And I want you to keep an eye on this thumbnail just down here, because when I click on synchronize, give it a moment and sure enough, there it is. I'll click on it just now. And there it is. So all of the settings that were applied to this bridge image have been synchronized to this virtual image of the rope just here. Of course, guys, you are free to edit that as you like. So with that, I'll just click away and click back on that. So I've only got the uh, the one image selected, pop into the develop module. And maybe for example, I think it's a little too overexposed just in the middle. I could easily drop that down like so. Of course, we can edit to taste. Uh, so that's pretty much it there, guys. Uh, one last thing I should mention, uh, virtual copies. You can create as many as you like. Uh, you can also delete as many as you like as well. So it's only this base image just here. If I was to remove that from my collection or from my folder, of course, it's going to disappear from my collection or my folder. But if I click on the uh, virtual copy just here, and if I delete that, um, it disappears. But of course, my base image is just there so I can easily rebuild a virtual image moving forward. That's it there, guys. Uh, virtual copies in Lightroom, very powerful tool for uh, editing and comparing and having multiple versions of an image uh, processed and comparing them side by side. That's it, guys. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye.